Tomorrow, thousands are expected to mourn the loss of a pillar in the community. She is a woman who somehow forgave the man who killed her only son. Reg Chapman shows us how her legacy will live on. We met Mary Johnson Roy and O'Shea Israel back in 2011. Their bond strong now, but not always. Even though I was a Christian woman, I was full of hatred. I, um, hey, I wanted the worst for him, and the worst was going to prison for the rest of his life. I saw him as an animal and that he should be caged. Back in 1993, when he was 16 years old, O'Shea shot and killed her only child, Laramian Lamont Bird, at a house party in the Twin Cities. For 12 years, she lived with pain and resentment until she went to visit O'Shea inside Stillwater Prison. God changed my heart. I mean, he delivered and set me free the day that O'Shea and I met in 2005. That's when she said the meeting was like, the first meeting, it was like beyond belief. and how everything started happening afterwards. They traveled across the country telling their story of reconciliation to anyone who would listen. They spoke in front of community groups, told their story on national television, even speaking with heads of state. Mary also started a group from life to death to help mothers who have lost children to gun violence. Without me, it won't be the rest of the story. With Mary's passing, her legacy will live on through O'Shea <laughs> and her granddaughter, Rosalinda, a woman who never met her father. It would happen five months before I was born. So it's like I'm the one who's supposed to carry it on and keep going. People do deserve a second chance. You can't always beat down somebody for a wrong that they did. There is good in people. She still has questions for the man who took her father's life, but she is willing to work with him to continue to spread Mary's message of love, something both say Mary prayed for. You know, the fact that she's no longer here, and now here we are. And so the work that she put forth from death to life is, like, really still going. It didn't die with her. Reg Chapman, WCCO News. What a legacy. And a celebration of life for Mary Johnson Roy will be held tomorrow at 11 at Shiloh International Ministries in Minneapolis. She was 71 years old.